Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing for you series videos. I'm do for the water. I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff and drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I bet this is going to be picklicious. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, oh, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Happens to be my, boom, my forever Famicom shirt. What with the Mega Ran and K Murdoch and such. But what is Forever Famicom? What is Mega Ran K Murdoch? So May, uh, Forever Famicom is an album that was created and produced by Mega Ran and K Murdoch. Mega Ran is a most probably commonly known as a nerdcore rapper. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, that basically is, you know, where you take hip hop and rap elements and combine them with different elements from nerdy stuff, uh, you know, anime or video games or, you know, just kind of anything that's sort of like pop culture-ish, but, you know, maybe a little bit nerdy oriented. Uh, Kay Murdoch is a frequent collaborator and the two of them put out this album quite a few years ago now at the time I'm doing this. I'm so very old. It is a phenomenal album. They're both phenomenal artists. Uh, I have nothing but the nicest thing to say about them. I've been fortunate enough to see them perform live on a number of occasions. I actually have videos of said performances. They're on the channel, just in case maybe you want to check it out. And if nothing else, folks, I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction as far as the music goes, because they're incredible. They deserve uh, just all your love and attention. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Picklicious, eh? Yes, indeed, folks. I went out to Jimmy John's and I got, boom! One of their Pickle Witches. In fact, I got both of their Pickle Witches. I just got through reviewing their Turkey Pickle Witch. And this is their Veto Pickle Witch. But I hear you, claw, or hear you cry, Brandon. Fuck his Pickle Witch. So Jimmy John's are kind of, you know, somewhat known for their pickles. And they decided, hey, wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it get all the internet lulls? If we went over there and made our sub sandwiches, but instead of using sub bread, we use pickles. The question had to be asked, folks. So, like I said, I did just get through reviewing the turkey one. This is their Vito, which is basically their Italian sub. It consists of ba -ba -ba -ba, salami, capicola, provolone, onion, lettuce, tomato, oil, vinegar, oregano, and basil within a pickle bun. So, yeah. We all know how much Brandon loves pickles. He's known for it. All across the Badlands, people run in fear. For that who is known as Brandon the Pickle Lover. No inclination towards anything else. It's, it's all about the actual pickles. Don't, don't read into it. It's pickles. It looks like this. It's boom! <laughs> Let's get a thing for a thing. <laughs> pickle. Uh, now what with this being a pickle witch, I am counting this as a sub sandwich. And uh, with it being sub sandwich, I have to preface it real quick with three things. Number one, for over two years, maybe even three years now, I've been going out to basically every place. I've been going on sub sandwich adventures. And what that means is I've been going out to basically every place that sells sub sandwiches, be they chain locations, delis, Walmart, what have you. I've been trying out their sub sandwiches. I've been taking them. I've been reviewing them, posting the reviews to YouTube. I'm such a nice guy that... And this is where number two comes to play. I don't just post them to my YouTube channel. I also post them to their own specific playlist called Subs for Subs. That is a playlist for just my sub sandwich reviews. Nothing else goes on that playlist. And at the time I'm doing this, folks, I have been... I've gone over there and I've got over 100 sub sandwich reviews in that playlist. Right? That's a lot of sub sandwich reviews. But maybe you're greedy. Maybe you want even more sub sandwich review and goodness. That's where number three comes to play. Because, folks, all you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub day. That is the day when I go over there and upload my sub sandwich reviews, and I've held to that standard for over two years now. So if you like sub sandwich reviews, check me out on Sunday. But anyway, let's get to this 
ridiculous pickle what the fuck ever. Pickle. Yes. Mmm. That's pickle. There's too much pickle. No reason for that much pickle in the world. It's just pickle. Now, to be fair, I got mostly pickle with that bite. So, I'm going to try to... I will say, I am getting some of like the saltiness from some of the meats, which actually isn't a terrible combination. Let's try to get into it a little bit more. It's just almost all pickle again. Ah. Such a waste of a sandwich. Um, okay. Alright. I think I like this one more than I like the turkey one. Because the problem I had with the turkey one was that all it had was turkey and provolone, lettuce, and tomato. And that wasn't really enough to stand up against the unfathomable power of the pickle. Right? Pickle flavor was just too strong, so you didn't really get much else. With this, I am at least getting something else, because you've got salty meats, you've got oil, you've got things to kind of give it a little razzle-dazzle. So, it at least has some personality. However, in that, in the turkey one, I said it was probably about 90 to 95% pickle flavor. The remaining was, you know, whatever was left over for the turkey and the provolone. This... 80%, 85%, it's still too much pickle. <laughs> it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the thing is, is that I think that the, like the vinegar and the oil, it's kind of one of the few good things I had to say about the turkey one was that the pickle itself wasn't too vinegary, right? It was just a nice, fresh, kind of almost vlasic kind of stick style pickle. This, because it has the vinegar and the oil from the, you know, the veto part of the sub, it tastes extra vinegary. <laughs> so it gains some front on one end and loses it on another. It's so weird and no... It's so vinegary. And there's just so much pickle. Like, there's no balance to it. There's no way for it to be balanced. Pickle's already such, like, an absurdly strong flavor. And you're effectively encapsulating the entire rest of the sandwich around it. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because you... Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No. And if you want to, for the lulls. Because here's the thing. Trying to search for things that I like about this is inherently going to be very difficult for me because, again, I don't really like pickles that much. I like them when they're used appropriately. That's the thing. When you use them in the right circumstance where they're not overpowering things, they can be a nice little add-on to give, you know, extra flavor to a dish. This is the pretty much damn near as far as you can go outside of just eating a pickle as far as there being too much pickle flavor. And while on the one hand, like I said, I do give this one a little bit more credit than the turkey one in that you do get some of the saltiness and some of the savoriness from the other ingredients, but you also get the vinegar and the oil, which just adds, again, that vinegar flavor, which then kind of helps obscure the damn thing again. So, I mean, look, obviously this isn't meant to be taken seriously. It's for fun, and that's fine. Um, it's not fun for me, because all I'm left 
feeling about this sandwich is a sense of lament that I'm not eating a normal sandwich. Even Jimmy John's, who are not by nature my favorite sandwich spot, but you know, my brain is just thinking back to simpler times of when I was eating Jimmy John sandwiches without pickles for buns. But here's the thing. If you want to go over there and try it out, I mean, if you love pickles, sure, hit it up. Maybe you'll really like it. But the key thing is, if you decide to go get this, and mind you, you might have to ask for it, because when I went to my location, it wasn't on the menu. I had to go over there and I had to ask for it. They were, you know, more than happy to make it, but... Um, Here's the thing with this, right? You have to go into it understanding what it is. You know, if you're a big old pickle lover, like I said, maybe you'll be able to take more away from it. But at the end of the day, this is meant for lulls, right? This is meant to be something that people like me can review or TikTok or whatever. It can be a thing that the internet takes hold of, drums up, yeah, bit my tongue, drums up a little interest for Jimmy John's. And, you know... There's nothing wrong with that. Gimmicky items are a lot of fun. This one doesn't work for me because it's just too much pickle. But if you want to try it, just be aware it is what it is. Not meant to be taken seriously. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. rest of your year. Folks, go be there yourselves a truly, I ain't eating no more pickles for at least a month. Fantastic rest of your life. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... What you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, if you enjoy the Pickle Witch, if it is your favorite sandwich now, I commend you, good for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. I hold no ill will towards you for it. However, if it starts to manage to creep in beyond its niche fun little thing, and now, for whatever reason, all the major sub places have decided we're not going to do bread anymore. We're just going to do pickles. Just be aware, I will destroy all of humanity because I'm not living in that existence. I'm taking us all out. We have jumped the shark too far. But anyway, bye!